please remember to leave a like, a comment, share the video about, and if you haven't already, subscribe. Thank you. Well, isn't this just fantastic? I made it the point because of the first and only other video I've done on Dark Viper to avoid talking about him too much, but then I noticed on social media, Twitter, that he's decided to rage quit a channel, an entire channel, because of drama. That was his entire fault. 14 pages and all that, you know. How dare Ethan Klein mock me? Dark Viper had another channel called Viper Rambles. This channel has 173,000 subscribers. He just talks, which is his problem because his mouth writes a number of checks, and, well, yes, of course, it backfires magnificently. He has been for a while positing that perhaps he will walk away from this channel and go back to what he is good at. Grand Theft Auto V. Feels a bit dated, but okay. Not gonna judge or hate, because you know what you're good at. Ish. Reasonably okay, mediocre, possibly at. Again, not hating, I am quite fond of Grand Theft Auto, I really am. But in this, Dark Viper had tried to branch out, grown an entire sodding channel, and has decided enough's enough. Because how dare the likes of, I think, Turkey Tom, Nick Diorio, Chud, many others included, actually, I think Chris the Narc as well has mocked the living feck out of him. And of course, Ethan Klein, how dare they meme you, mock you, criticize you for your poor commentary because you can't take a joke because you cut you're basically dark side phil but a better gamer and i don't think you've been yet caught jacking off on camera or begged it up like there's no tomorrow for microtransactions although if you do need them for gta 5 you really do need to just do a few weed runs it's not overly difficult what i thought i'd do is show you some of his community notes of late right because this shows a let's say, a pattern, I guess, but also how he behaves. So we'll go back three months. If you are ever looking for some great background noise, check out my VOD channel. By the way, Dark Viper has a large presence on all his channels. Large within my scope of large. Whereas I'm at 129,000, three months ago his livestream channel was at 71.7 thousand subscribers. That's not bad for streams that he's re-uploading that are getting thousands of views. Okay, a couple thousand. Still, views. Passive income, background noise, sure. Later on, he had posted, there will not be any further legacy rambles. Now, this falls in line with when he got into some heat with commentary community folk. He needs to know, because of his audience, what battles to pick, right? Totally understandable. A month ago, he had posted, how many of you read the topic card at the start of a rambles episode to see if there are any topics you are interested in and this impacts whether you will watch the video. I should probably reply on this. I don't watch Ramble videos, but I can't be bothered. I do want to add further to the legacy part. When it comes to mainstream media, legacy media as a whole, you have to pick your battles very carefully. Know your audience. If you don't know your audience, you end up making posts like this. I, for example, don't post political commentary on this channel. I want to, but I know damn well it would rub many people up the wrong way who misunderstand what I'm trying to say. Because I tackle individual issues, I don't subscribe to a party. Because I think they're all a joke. Four weeks ago. Sorry about that last title and thumbnail, guys. Went a bit far on that one. None of the topics seemed great for a title or thumbnail, so I figured a joke related to the topic of my girlfriend's month trip would be good. He got called out for clickbait, basically. Now, we all do clickbait from time to time. It's why some people in their titles, uh, a lot of the T community folk, to uh, the name of the person, and the situation has gotten even worse. And then, if they're on camera, they'll do a really shocked emoji, right? Or expression. That drives up huge interest in their content. I know this because I used that title on a cinema video on Tuesday. Turns out it does work. Interesting. Three weeks ago, if you have good editing skills and are looking for some work, join my Discord and DM me. No offence to you, Dark Viper, but there are many creators like you I would never want to ever have employees. Because you and many others take far too much for granted. And when you do take it for granted, when you do your commentary content, or have done in the past, you come across as ill-informed. Because you haven't bothered to digest the information before you speak. It's why you posted, there will not be any further legacy rambles. I personally think, just me by the way, 
I know you're a busy streamer and you do make a lot of content in gaming, but generally speaking, this is your job. If you can outsource it, sure, but you got to pay them right and treat them right. The problem here is your reputation is not on your side, so no one would want to work for somebody short term. Especially now, because this is a bit redundant really, isn't it? 13 days ago, a full stop. That's an interesting post. Got decent engagement on it too. In fact, most of your posts get good engagement. 13 days ago, there are still dozens of reasons I should end the Rambles channel. I think the obvious one should be because your opinions are terrible. You should just stick to gaming. Your strong suit. I understand, by the way, as a creator wanting to branch out, I had tried that in the past with Moisky Reads, a uh, reading narration poetry style channel with some long form content as well. It cost too much money and I wasn't doing it very well, so there's no point, right? Pick your battles, move on. There's only a very small contingent of you who really cares about it. The overwhelming majority don't. Try to imagine my shock. You built an audience in one area. They're not going to all want to come over here and listen to you talk about other things as well. With that being said, I'll make a few more changes to the process and continue the channel for a few more months. Should it fail, I will try the main channel again. This might be foreshadowing as well. Yeah. If you have suggestions for the Rambles channel, video length, etc, leave them below. I sincerely thought I'd actually cancel it this time. I feel like I'm falling victim to sunken cost fallacy. Now, before we get into the fallacy part, if you want constructive criticism, I would start by saying, perhaps you shouldn't have posted, I'm considering quitting, because people are just going to tell you to quit. If you hear a dog scratching in the background, it's, the, it's my plumpy wumpy. She, she's, she's playing with her bed. Apparently that's useful timing. Back to you though, Dark Viper. If you really want constructive criticism, that is totally fine. It's whether or not you're willing to take it on board. I have from time to time asked for help, and I have, in turn, not taken on board any of the advice given to me, which was wrong of me. Me being able to say that tells me I can, with hindsight, be introspective, right? You can't. You're too arrogant, too full of yourself, and you inflate your own sense of self-importance. You're not that big and you're not that much of a deal, really. You were in GTA to an extent, but then you branched out. When you showed everyone what your opinions were like really and your actual personality, people were less interested. Of course, your inability to play some GTA aspects also helped. Rage really does sell. The crying wolf thing doesn't help you here in the slightest. Now, a sunken cost fallacy, or a sunk cost fallacy, is where a person is reluctant to abandon a strategy of course of action because they've invested heavily in it. In this, he is referring to the time and effort he has spent on these videos. Videos of which average over 20,000 views per upload. But apparently this is bad for him. Okay. You upload when you can and you get good views. Even your Viper Rambles has officially ended rip thumbnail video thing, which is like a short just over. Got decent views. Now the final post, community one that's relevant, Viper Rambles from three days ago is cancelled for real this time. People saying that. Often we find people go back to it after a period of time because they want to keep it in the monetization algorithm part. Yeah. Although if you do commentary, rewatchability, if it's um, more current event based, which is what your content was, doesn't have rewatchability. Mine doesn't either, so I fully understand this. Every time I consider cancelling, spot wrong, rambles, I decided against it because of the comments I would read about how disappointed people were, and I didn't want to negatively impact those who helped me with the channel. However, I have now officially decided to end the channel. It no longer brings me satisfaction and has caused me endless headaches. Basically, you can't handle many have looked at that O's videos within commentary spaces and mocked you for your poor takes. No offence intended here, Dark Viper, but you can't handle any criticism at all, whether it be constructive or not. And by the way, that's what made it amusing when you asked for feedback, because in reality, you wouldn't take any of it on board. Perhaps I'm simply not cut out for this anymore. The business has worn me down. The negativity, the lies about me personally from those who feel threatened by my words or actions. It's not even the lies themselves, but how effortlessly people seem to believe them. These last two and a half years have been really tough on my mental state, and my perception of people in general has never been lower. You've not been on the internet long enough then, because many hold you with the lowest of regards. You do have a very supportive audience. Of course you do, because sheeple generally do start to follow people and ignore the reality. You're such a log cow, you have your own Kiwi Farms thread. That's what you are. Your actions are hilarious. Your poor takes, your dramas, all of your own machination. You brought most of it on yourself, and you seem to think you're above much of it, but you're not because you, like the rest of us, are a lowly oik. 
I just don't think I can handle this channel mentally anymore, especially given that every attempt I've made to change things to sustain it has been met with relentless whining from my vocal from a vocal minority. This is where I know the earlier post about feedback is redundant. I don't really understand why some people saw my saying I am thinking about cancelling the channel as a call to mindlessly hate on everything I do or have ever done. But well done, I guess. Keeping this channel just means my Reddit is flooded with negative posts about me, sorry, about every title, image and thumbnail. It's simply not worth dealing with anymore. I will continue to cover GTA news on the main channel, and I may start some weekly AMA, where people can ask me questions if they wish but I suspect I will release this unedited. All the best, and I'm sorry I couldn't make this work for now. Maybe I'll return to it one day. Six months. I reckon six months, and there'll be a video here just to keep it in the algorithm if your views start to diminish on the main channel. If channels that we have on the side don't do as well, I can fully understand wanting to stop, but you actually have consistently held decent viewership on this channel. So really, it's not the viewership at all. Or the subject matter, because the subject matter is commentary. You've been pouncing on hot topics, and you get okay views for it. You, like any creator, get negativity. Your negativity comes from the purchases you make with the mouth you have, and the hollowed out almond between your ears, because it sure as feck isn't a brain. You do not understand nuance, you do not understand subtlety, you are far too literal, and you cannot handle it when anyone tells you you are in the wrong. Your audience are going to be on your side regardless at the moment, because you have a decent fan base. You have always had a decent fan base. But the reality is, you mention vocal minority, you don't care about that audience when they don't tell you what you want to hear, because you're a weak tea little bish. The fact you're quitting commentary for this channel because of other creators putting you in your place is hilarious. And no offence intended here, but if you hadn't gone to Nick Diorio's Twitter, retweeted his Dark Viper quit his commentary channel over criticism tweet with the community posts basically proving it, I would have believed that you quit because it was getting too much. But you're obsessive, and you have to always be right. You tweeted Nick's lying, but my secondary channel was more successful than anything he's done. Yet it was still a failure and so irrelevant, it wasn't worth the little time I gave it. Even giving his all, Nick can't measure up to a fraction of me, and he can't quit because it's all he has. I should point out, as somebody underneath had said, you Dark Viper hyper-focus far too much on analytics. You really do, and I know far too many creators who do that. For the views you get on that channel, that's not bad viewership. It really isn't. If you want to grow it, you've got to change the style of content. You know your limitation in that area. If you did documentary videos over there, perhaps it would do better. Your main channel has 1.79 million subscribers, and your views fluctuate. Yeah, but you do reasonably well when you talk about GTA. You don't do so well when it involves other streamers, no. So maybe you should stick to the main channel where you feel your worth is there. Although, just to point it out, percentage-wise for viewership, you get more views on the second channel proportionately for subscribers to viewership than you do your main channel. Just thought I'd point it out. You still get fantastic views though, but I do tend to agree with Nick Diario, you did quit commentary for the Rambles channel, not because of cost. You quit because you couldn't handle the banter. You're going back to what you know you're good at, because you know it's all you've got. 